us with these nefs Acting like unks Flexing fake wisdom, y'all ain't got no stunts Why you tryna front like you won the show? You just a shadow, man, you ain't got that glow Talking all that big talk, claiming OG But when you speak, all I hear is karaoke We set the trends, y'all just tryna catch up But you capping so hard, even Google gave up Why do they gotta front? Why they Acting like the big unks, but they ain't stunting What do we ever do to, to these jocks? Got them so stupidy, man, they can't even chat What do we do that got these nests so shook? They see us flex, now they tryna write the book We drop knowledge, they just drop crumbs Acting wise, but still playing dumb Claiming they the real ones, but I ain't impressed You still wearing rookie stripes, better go confess Gats all around, but they skip a D on sight Can't handle the pressure when we walk in the light Why do they gotta front? Why Acting like the big unks, but they ain't stunting no. What do we ever do to, to these jacks? Got them so stupid, man, they can't even chat Nets trying to talk, but they owl the tune Unks stay grounded, we ain't trying to swoon We paid the path, y'all just passengers But keep acting wise, y'all just scavengers So watch with these nets, acting like unks Frontin' all day, but they just low punks When you see us coming, better know the vibe Unks stay eternal, nets just the vibe Okay, so, have you heard about this? We're diving into transhuman coin today. You know, THC. Ah, yes, THC. It's uh, it's definitely one of those projects that catches your eye. Definitely grabbing headlines. A cryptocurrency that wants to fund research, and not just any research, we're talking life extension, disease eradication, even human enhancement. It's like sci-fi, but in the real world, you know? It's definitely ambitious, bridging that gap mm -hmm. between well, science fiction and actual science. Mm -hmm. We're digging into their white paper today, trying to see how much of this is actually possible. Right, separating the hype from reality. So they call themselves a community-driven cryptocurrency. What does that even mean? I mean, we're talking about potentially revolutionizing healthcare here. Yeah, it's basically crowdfunding for the future of humanity. But instead of donating, you're investing in a cryptocurrency, THC in this case. The idea is that as more people buy and use the coin, the more funding they have to put towards research on things like aging, disease, and yeah, even human enhancement. So your investment could, in theory, fund the next big medical breakthrough. Oh, wait. That's the hope. But cryptocurrency, it's not exactly known for stability, is it? Can you really rely on something so volatile to fund something as important as scientific research? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? The volatility is definitely a risk. I mean, scientific breakthroughs need consistent long-term funding and with crypto, well, let's just say there are no guarantees. It's a gamble for sure. Okay, so how does this whole thing actually work? They talk about this unique tokenomics model. Right, so every time there's a THC transaction, a small percentage goes into different pools. 2% goes to the liquidity pool, another 2% goes to holders of the coin, and another 2% is allocated for marketing. Hold on, did you say holders of the coin? What does that mean exactly? So a portion of that 2% goes to everyone who holds THC, but a significant chunk of it goes into something called the Transhuman Fund Wallet, which is basically a central pot of money specifically earmarked for funding research projects. The Transhuman Fund Wallet, interesting. So the more people use THC, the bigger this wallet grows and the more research they can fund. That's the general idea. They're trying to create a self-sustaining system where the more popular the coin gets, the more resources they have to put towards their goals. Mm. It's a novel approach, leveraging the decentralized nature of cryptocurrency to, hopefully, create a more democratic and transparent way to fund science. It's certainly a unique approach. They're not just trying to make money. They're trying to disrupt the entire system of scientific funding. But even if it works, we still have the challenge of actually achieving these breakthroughs, extending lifespan, enhancing human abilities. That's not exactly easy stuff. No, it's not. It's like trying to predict the weather. You know, you can have all the best technology, all the funding in the world, but scientific progress is unpredictable. There's a lot of trial and error, a lot of dead ends. There's no guarantee they'll be successful. But the fact that they're trying to tackle these big questions is, well, it's exciting. It is exciting and a little bit terrifying. Hmm. Right. OK, so we've talked about the what and the how of transhuman coin. But what about the who? 
Who are the masterminds behind this ambitious project? So the white paper highlights a pretty diverse team, actually. People with backgrounds in technology, science, business, even philosophy. Give me some names. Who are the key players? Well, let's start with the co-founder, Peter Zhang. He's got a background in finance and tech, worked at KPMG and even Singularity University. Singularity University, that's the, uh, isn't that where they talk about artificial intelligence becoming smarter than humans? <laughs> the one and only. So yeah, it's clear that Xing has a, let's say, a strong interest in the potential of technology to really push the boundaries of what's possible. Okay, so we've got the finance and tech guy. Who else is on the team? Then we have Dr. Charles Awizi, mm -hmm. CEO. He's got a background in biochemistry and cybersecurity, which is an interesting combination. He's also been a big advocate for transhumanism, especially in Africa, talking about how these technologies could be used to address healthcare disparities and you know, really leapfrog over traditional development barriers. Wow. So we're talking about a team with some serious credentials, not to mention a healthy dose of idealism. But let's be real. Ambition doesn't always equal success. Absolutely. Mm. A good team is important, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. Yeah. There are a lot of other factors at play here. The technology, the regulatory landscape, the ethical implications, just to name a few. Right. And let's not forget about public perception. I mean, the idea of using technology to enhance human abilities, it's something that makes some people really uncomfortable. And for good reason, I would say. Yeah. There are definitely some big ethical questions we need to grapple with as these technologies continue to develop, we need to be having those conversations now yeah. before it's too late. Exactly. So we've got a solid team, a bold vision, and a whole lot of unknowns. It's going to be fascinating to see how this all plays out. Yeah, this is definitely one to watch. The next few years are going to be crucial for Transhuman Coin. They've set some ambitious goals, and whether or not they can achieve them, well, only time will tell. But it's going to be an interesting ride. So they've got the team, they've got the vision, but can we talk about their roadmap for a second? They're throwing around some pretty ambitious timelines, like a full-blown research center by 2023. That seems, I don't know, awfully soon, even with a pile of crypto millions. Yeah, ambition is definitely not something they lack. Remember that transhuman fund wallet? That's supposed to be the bankroll for all of this. Right, 2% of every THC transaction going into this digital piggy bank. But even with a steady stream of transactions, can they really build a cutting edge research facility in just a couple of years? We're talking about life extension here. That's not exactly building a smartphone app. You hit the nail on the head. It's not just about the money, although that's obviously important. You need experts, permits, equipment. Attracting top researchers takes time. And let's not forget the scientific process itself. That's not something you can just put on fast forward. It's not like ordering next day delivery for a new gadget. Some things just take time. But what about their plans for research in the metaverse? That seems like it could sidestep some of those real world limitations, right? Decentralized research, it's almost like something out of a movie. That's the idea, at least on paper. Imagine a virtual laboratory where scientists from all over the world can work together no matter where they are physically. They could even conduct research that might be too risky or ethically complicated to do in the real world. Okay, hold on. Decentralized research in the metaverse. That sounds like we're stepping into Ready Player One territory now. I need to hear more about this. Walk me through it. Picture a virtual space where scientists can interact with data, run simulations, even work with virtual patients. It could speed up research, encourage collaboration, and make scientific resources more accessible. So... No more flying researchers around the world for conferences. They can all just meet up in the metaverse. And what's this about research that's too dangerous for the real world? What are we talking about here? Well, think about research on highly contagious diseases or experiments that could have, you know, unforeseen consequences. Doing that kind of research in a controlled virtual environment could allow scientists to push the boundaries without putting anyone at risk. Okay, I see. So it's like a safety net for scientific exploration. But wouldn't there be new challenges? I mean, data security in a decentralized space and ethical oversight. Mm -hmm. Who's in charge in this virtual world? Those are some of the big questions for sure. Data privacy, security breaches, the potential for misuse. Those are all valid concerns. And when you start talking about ethical considerations, things get even more complex. It's a bit of uncharted territory. It's like the Wild West, but for science. Exciting and a little bit scary at the same time. Exactly. And that's why it's so important to have these discussions now before things advance too far and we end up in a situation where we haven't considered the consequences. We don't want to get caught off guard. It seems like with transhuman coin, it's this constant balancing act between what if we could and should we. 
And that's what makes this deep dive so interesting. We're not just talking about technology or investments. We're talking about the future of humanity. What could be bigger than that? No pressure. Right. So to recap, we've got ambitious goals, a unique funding model, and plans for research in the metaverse. It's a lot to take in. But the big question remains, even if they manage all of this, can THC really deliver on its promise? Can they actually extend lifespan, cure diseases, enhance human potential? Ah, those are the million dollar questions, aren't they? To even begin to answer that, we need to dive into the science behind the claims. And that's a whole other rabbit hole. So we've covered a lot of ground from blockchain to the metaverse. But let's be honest, the thing that really gets people talking about transhuman coin are the claims that sound like they're ripped straight from a sci-fi movie. Extending lifespan, enhancing human abilities. Can they really pull that off? Well, that's where we need to separate the hype from the actual science. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest. Some of their goals, like significantly extending human lifespan, that's still pretty speculative. But there are other areas where we're seeing some really promising developments. Okay, so you're saying it's not all just pie in the sky. There's some real science behind some of this. Like, yeah. what? Give me the highlights. Well, take gene editing, for example. We're making huge strides in our ability to target and potentially even correct genetic defects. That has huge implications for treating and maybe even curing a wide range of diseases. And then you've got fields like artificial intelligence and biotechnology, which are advancing at an incredible pace. Those have the potential to revolutionize healthcare as we know it. So it's not totally crazy to think that some of the technologies Transhuman Coin is trying to support could lead to some big breakthroughs. Exactly. But we have to remember, scientific progress isn't always linear or predictable. It's a long and winding road with plenty of dead ends along the way. There are going to be setbacks. There are going to be surprises. It's not going to happen overnight. No magic bullet for aging just yet. But even if we put aside the really ambitious stuff for a moment, the whole idea of a cryptocurrency funding cutting edge research is pretty wild, right? It's yeah. like they're trying to disrupt the whole system. Absolutely. And that's one of the most fascinating things about transhuman coin. Yeah. They're not just trying to tweak the system a little bit. They're going for a complete overhaul. Traditional scientific funding, it can be slow, it can be bureaucratic, and a lot of times it's more focused on research that's commercially viable. Transhuman coin, if it works the way they envision it, could change all of that. It could create a more democratic, more transparent, more community-driven way to fund science. So instead of relying on governments or big pharmaceutical companies, it's everyday people, investors, who could hold the key to unlocking the next medical breakthrough. That's the hope, at least. It's an experiment. There's no doubt about that. A grand experiment playing out on a global scale. And it's going to be fascinating to see how it all unfolds. But even if Transhuman Coin doesn't achieve every single one of its goals, it's already sparked a really important conversation about the future of healthcare, about the future of humanity, about who gets to decide what that future looks like. And those are conversations we need to be having. No doubt about that. This deep dive has been quite the journey. From blockchain to the metaverse to the fundamental questions about what it means to be human in an age of rapidly advancing technology. It's a lot to wrap our heads around. And it all started with a simple question. Can cryptocurrency change the world? I think we've discovered that the answer is a lot more complicated than a simple yes or no. Definitely more nuanced than that. A solid maybe, perhaps. And maybe that's the point. That the future isn't set in stone. It's something we're all creating together. So as we wrap things up here. We'll leave you with this. What role will you play in shaping the future? What kind of world do you want to see? Keep asking those big questions. And until next time, keep diving deep.